Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to PM Networking. Guys, today we are going to understand VTP. As you know, VTP stands for VLAN Trunking Protocol. So first of all, what is VTP? VLAN Trunking Protocol is a Cisco proprietary protocol which works at layer 2 and it is used to propagate VLAN's information. right? Or you can say VLAN Trunking Protocol is used to exchange VLAN information between switches. So here I have mentioned some point as you can see VLAN stand for VLAN, VTP stand for VLAN Trunking Protocol. It is used to propagate VLAN's database. It is a Cisco proprietary protocol that means you can configure this protocol only on Cisco devices and by default it is enabled on all Cisco switches. So by default VTP is running on all Cisco switches. Okay. It, it uses this multicast address so you can see this is the multicast address multicast MAC address right CDP is also using this MAC address VTP is also using same MAC address okay after that guys see actually what is the need of VTP over here actually logically if you will say VTP what is VTP so VTP is actually used to reduce the network administrator load suppose I have three switches in my organization switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 if I want to create VLAN on all switches, network administrator have to manually run command on all switches. Suppose here I want to create VLAN 10. So here I need to run command VLAN 10. Here also I need to run command VLAN 10. Here also I need to run VLAN command. If I want to configure VLAN name, so that also I need to configure on all switches. But to reduce the load of network administrator, we can use this protocol, VTP protocol, to propagate VLAN ID as well as VLAN name. Okay, so suppose this is my centralized switch. Here, whatever VLAN I will configure, that VLAN will be propagated on switch 2 and switch 3 by VTP protocol, by VLAN ranking protocol, right? So VTP is not only propagate VLAN ID, it will also propagate VLAN name. But guys, there is some requirement of VTP. Let's un understand the requirement of VTP first. So here I have mentioned the requirements of VTP. First requirement is VTP domain name must be same on all switches. So I told you by default VTP is running on all switches. This today in this video we are going to discuss theory plus practical. As you can see I have access of three switches. Switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 in my rack. These are real devices. Here we are going to understand practically, practical things. So if you will run command so VTP status over here, you can see VTP is running. By default VTP is running on all Cisco switches. But domain name is null by default. So if you will create VLAN over here, that VLAN will not propagate it in VTP domain. So Suppose that these are my brand new switch here. I am configuring VLAN 10. So it is not going to propagate to switch number 2 because there are some requirement of VTP. First requirement is VTP domain name must be same and VTP domain name must be configured. Right? Because by default it is null. Yes or no? So first requirement is domain name must be configured and domain name should be same on all switches. Second requirement of VTP is link between switches must be configured as trunk. So here you can see between switch 1 and switch 2 I have one link. So this link should be configured as trunk. Between switch and switch switch 2 and switch 3 also this link must be configured as trunk. Okay, so this is my second requirement of VTP. So here you have run command show VTP status to check that VTP is enabled or not. If you will check VLAN database, so VLAN brief. So you can see I have not created any VLAN over here. These are default VLAN on switches. Yes or no? So interface trunk. So trunk is also not configured between switches. Okay. So this is my second requirement. If you want to use VTP, link between switches must be configured as trunk. After that, third requirement is Third requirement is password must match. Password must be same on all switches, but password is optional. If you have configured password on any one switches, so that password should be same on all switches, then only VTP will work. But guys, password is 
optional if you don't want to configure it you can avoid it okay and the fourth requirement of vtp is version as you know we have three version in vtp vtp version 1 2 and 3 so version of vtp must match then only vtp will work so here if you will run command let me check what version by default running on switches again you will run command show vtp version sorry not version status okay so you can see this switch can support vtp version 1 2 version 3 and by default version which is running on switches is vtp version 1 okay so it can support all version and here you can see by default mode is transparent so it is it is dependent right it will depends on the platform of switches first of all here let me run show vtp status command here also you can see by default mode is transparent so guys what i am going to do first of all i am going to reload these all devices right first of all i am going to delete vlan database in the flash memory so delete flash and here name is vlan dot that because this is the file where switches will install a, a stored vlan information yes okay let me confirm it now if you will run command so flash over here you can see vlan dot that file is not there on switch number two if now if you will run command so so vtp uh, sorry so flash so here you can see vlan dot that file is available so let me delete it delete flash and guys make sure you will not enter twice otherwise you will delete the flash memory here you will mention name where carefully name is vlan dot that file this file i want to delete in flash okay and on switch number three also delete vlan dot sorry delete flash memory and in flash i want to delete vlan dot that file okay now i am going to reload these devices so reload here also i am going to run reload command and on switch 3 also reload okay so it will take some time okay till then we are going to discuss theory part so these are vtp requirement these are requirement of vtp now guys how many types of version three version version one version two version three the most important thing in vtp is vtp mode from here interviewer is asking lots of question as well so vtp modes guys we have three modes in vtp first one is server mode second one is client mode and third one is third one is transparent mode okay so on some platform of switches this is server mode is default mode guys server is default mode and on some platform of switches transparent are transparent mode is default mode okay now one by one we are going to understand the difference between these three modes what do you mean by server mode client mode and transparent mode so let's start from server mode server mode first of all let me show you the mode of my switches here still it's waiting yes it's started now let me show you over here by default vtp mode so vtp status so you can see by default mode is server on my switch on switch number two also if you will verify it so vtp status mode is guys server right and if you want to check the platform of this switch so 
version. So this is my C three seven five zero switch. Okay, and here also so VTP status by default mode is transparent. So I think this is different platform switches. So version. Yes, this is my. 3560 switch so 3560 on 3560 by default mode is transparent and on cisco 3750 switches by default vtp mode is server okay here if you want to change it you can change it right minimally suppose i want to configure it server mode so vtp mode server and now if you will run command so vtp status you can see mode is server fine so let's let's understand the modes one by one server mode so guys on server mode switches we can we can create vlan we can delete vlan and we can modify vlan means we can edit vlan edit vlans okay on server mode switches you are allowed to create vlan you are allowed to delete vlan and you are allowed to you know you are allowed to edit vlan right modify vlan on server mode switch this is default mode on some platform of switches you can mention that point also over here it will generate this mode server mode it will or we can say it generates vtp update message update messages so server mode switches can up generate vtp update messages okay after that it's work as a relay agent it's works as a, a relay agent what do you mean by relay agent suppose here this is server mode switch this is server mode switch this is also server mode switch so if switch 1 is sending one update message of vtp to switch 2 it will relay that update to switch 3 so that's why we are seeing server mode switch works as a relay agent okay actually all mode of vtp switches works as a relay agent after that guys next point that you can mention over here is it a store its uh, vlan information or we can say database in vlan dot dat file in the flash in the flash memory okay okay so server mode switches is going to store their vlan database in vlan dot dat file in the flash memory okay so this is all about v vtp server mode now the client mode so here i am going to write about the client mode client mode so here we can note we can note create vlans we can note delete vlans and we can note edit vlan vlans over here on the client mode switches so on this mode client mode switch also generates vtp update messages it generates we are going to understand vtp message as well so that message can be generated by whatever update message are there that all messages can be generated by server mode and client mode it generates vtp update messages okay the next point that you can mention over here is it can receive vlan information from server mode 
because here we cannot create VLAN. So how we will create VLAN on client mode? So it can receive VLANs information from server mode switches switches and it will update their VLAN database okay so client mode switch will update their VLAN database with the help of server mode switches right so it will receive the VTP update message from server mode and it will update their VLAN database okay so this is all about client mode and it client mode also install or store their VLAN information in VLAN dot that file in the flash memory okay guys so last mode is transparent mode so now let's understand transparent mode so transparent mode transparent mode guys here we can manually create vlan we can manually delete vlan but transparent mode can not going to update their vlan database with the help of vtp update message so this mode we can say this mode switches can note update their VLAN database from VTP update message okay here if you want to create VLAN you have to create manually here if you want to create VLAN you have to create manually and guys you know why we need transparent mode switch first of all let me make you understand that right then i will again discuss transparent mode switch suppose here we have three switch switch one switch two and switch three let me copy this diagram and control c control v okay suppose i have three switches in my network suppose this is server mode this is server mode this is server mode here i have some user in suppose vlan 10 here also i have some user in vlan 10 here also i have some user in vlan 10 okay so these all switches are in vtp domain and mode of all switches is server by mistaken if someone have run command no vlan 10 over here so vlan 10 will be removed from this switch vlan 10 will be removed from this switch also and vlan 10 will be removed from this switch also right and these interface this interface this interface this interface are member of which vlan vlan 10 so that means these user cannot communicate with each other yes or no suppose this is my centralized switch right whatever vlan modification is required administrator have changed it on switch number two so but mode of vtp is server on all switches so anyone can run no vlan 10 command on any switches yes or no because server mode switch allow you to remove vlan so what will happen this user cannot communicate suppose this is connected with internet these switches are connected with one router and the router is connected with internet so these users are not able to access internet now let me show you practically as well suppose here on switch number one config t and interface f1 slash 0 slash 1 let's say and i am going to put this interface in vlan 10 switch port access vlan 10 right on switch number 2 also if you will check now so vtp status so here you can see cr number is still zero here right that means it is not going to propagate vlan information now so here manually you have to create vlan 
or we can do what we can configure one VTP domain name. So I am going to remove VLAN 10 from here now. See first of all, so VLAN brief. So here actually I have created one VLAN and VLAN 10 and this port is member of VLAN 10. So what if I will remove this VLAN, VLAN 10 and say no. Here I am going to remove this VLAN. What will happen guys? So VLAN brief. Now you can see VLAN 10 is not there but 0 slash 1 port is also not showing over here. Yes or no? That means you have put 0 slash 1 port in VLAN 10 and VLAN 10 is not available. So a status of that port, that access port is what? That port is what? Inactive. Yes or no? Here let me create VLAN again. VLAN 10. And again if you build run command, so VLAN brief. You can see. In the VLAN 10, this port is there. Right? If you build run command, so interface F1 slash 0 slash 1 and switch port. Here also you can see. This is access. Access port for which VLAN? For VLAN 10. Yes or no? But if I will delete VLAN 10 from here, what will happen? A status of this interface is now access for which VLAN? VLAN 10. Here I am going to say no VLAN 10. See now what will happen? So interface F0 slash 0 switch port. Here what is showing? It, it is showing you inactive. That means 0 slash 1 interface is inactive now because this interface is member of VLAN 10 and VLAN 10 is not available on this switch yes or no so this type of problem can be occur when someone will run what command no VLAN 10 on server mode okay so here I am going to configure one domain name over VTP domain name let's say Cisco here I have configured domain name what Cisco how you will verify it so VTP status you can see VTP domain name is Cisco. Yes or no? On switch number 2, so VTP status. Here you can see domain name is still what? Null. That means switch 1 is generating VTP message. Yes or no? If you will debug it, you will see the VTP message or you can check. So VTP counter. You can see this switch have not generated any VTP message or, and it have not received any VTP message. Yes or no? Because the link between switches is not configured as trunk. So what I need to do? I need to configure link between switches as trunk. So on switch number 2 what I will do? I will make this port and this port as dynamic desirable. Yes or no? DD. So trunk will automatically form between switch 1 and switch 2 and switch 2 and switch 3 yes or no so let me take you on switch number 2 and I am going to configure link between switches as trunk so CDP neighbor okay so 0 slash 19 is connected with switch 1 and 0 slash 23 is connected with switch 3 I am going to configure this port as dynamic desirable config t interface range f 1 slash 0 slash 19 and F1 slash 0 slash 23 and say switch port mode dynamic desirable. Yes, now if you will run command show interface trunk, you can see these two interfaces are configured as trunk on switch number one. Also, you can verify so interface trunk. You can see 0 slash 19 is configured as trunk. Yes. So VTP status. Okay. We are going to understand CR number as well. For now just ignore it. CR number guys. Okay. Domain name is what? Cisco and on switch number 2. So VTP status. Domain name is what? Cisco. Domain name is what? Cisco. Yes or no? And now on switch number one if you will check so VTP counter so VTP counter you can see this switch have received summary advertisement subset advertisement and subset request 
yes or no request advertisement receive one and it has sent how many it has transmitted how many summary advertisement two summary advertisement and how many subset advertisement it have sent one yes and now if you will check so vlan database so vlan brief over here you can see vlan 10 is not there now i am going to create vlan 10 vlan 10 right now if you will run command so vlan brief so see vlan 10 is there on switch number 2 also so vlan brief here also you can see vlan 10 is created yes or no and one more thing i want to show you over here is vtp is not only propagating vlan id it is also propagating vlan name on switch number 3 also if you will run command so vtp status here you can see the domain name is cisco that means it have received some vtp update and it had also sent some vtp state vtp update message so vtp counter see here it have sent how many summary advertisement two and how many subset advertisement two how many summary advertisement it have received two how many subset advertisement it have received two yes and if you will check so vlan brief you can see vlan 10 is also created over here now i am going to configure name vlan name to vlan 10 let me do that vlan 10 and say name is sales see here so vlan brief exit after exit it will work yes or no now so vlan brief you can see name of vlan is sales and on switch number two also you can see name is what sales so vtp is actually interviewer is asking this question that vtp is used to propagate vlan id or name so no it is responsible to propagate both okay on switch number three also if you will run so vlan brief you can see name is sales okay so guys what is the need of client mode suppose here engineer have run or someone have run no vlan 10 no vlan 10 over here what will happen vlan 10 will be deleted from all switches and there are some user in vlan 10 so these user cannot communicate yes or no so this is on switch number two also let me put one interface in vlan 10 interface f 1 slash 0 slash 1 and say switch port access vlan 10 what i am going to do guys here i am going to create I am going to connect two router over here, one router with rot switch one and one router to switch two. Okay, this is my this is my zero slash one. This is my zero slash one. I have put these all two interface in VLAN 10. Here I am going to configure one IP 10.1. Here I am going to configure one IP 10.2. Okay, so let me do that. Let me take access of router 1 and router 2. You can consider router as a PC. Okay, I will disable the, you know, routing. Clone and password is PM123 and say R1. Enable PM123 clear line 18. Clear line 18 and say R1. So I have access of router number 1. Okay. Now here I am going to configure one IP address on F0 slash 0 because F0 slash 0 is connected with switch 1. So interface F0 slash 0 IP address is 10.1.1.1 and 255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
and router 2 is connected with switch 2 with 0 slash 1 interface. So let me take access of router 1 as well, P, router 2 as well. Here let's say R2. Okay. PM 123. Clear line 19. And say R2. R2. Okay. I have access of router 2 also. On 0 slash 1 interface, I am going to configure. IP address because router 2 is connected with 0 slash 1 interface to switch 2. So CDP neighbor you can see. Uh, so IP interface brief. Okay so 0 slash 1 interface is actually down guys. So that's why it's not showing you. Let me run no set command over here. Interface f 0 slash 1 say no set. And so CDP neighbor. You can see switch 1 is neighbor on 0 slash 0 and switch 2 So IP interface brief So line protocol is done that means switch on switch number 2 interface F1 slash 0 slash 2 which is connected to router 2 here I need to run no set command and now on switch number 2 if you will check line protocol is up now if you will run so cdp neighbor command you can see switch 1 and switch 2 is neighbor i am going to don 0 slash 0 interface of router 2 interface f 0 slash 0 says shut down and on router number 1 0 slash 1 interface is connected with switch 2 so let me down this interface down right now if you will run so cdp command over here you can see only switch 1 is neighbor with 0 slash 0 interface and on switch 2 if you will run command so cdp neighbor here also you can see switch 2 is neighbor through 0 slash 1 interface now here i am going to configure one ip address interface f 0 slash 1 ip address 10.1.1.2.255.255.255.0 right and here also let me disable routing say no IP routing and if you will ping 10.1.1.1 from router number 2 it will work it's not working let me check so VLAN brief command okay so this interface 0 slash 1 is in vlan 10 on switch number 2 so vlan brief okay so 0 slash 2 is member of vlan 1 so that's why it's not pinging so let me make this interface as member of vlan 10 interface f1 slash 0 slash 2 and switch port access vlan 10 right now if you will ping You know switch, is, switch will take 30 seconds to come in forwarding state because of STP. So definitely it will work after 30 seconds. Just wait. Or from router number 1 I can ping 10.1.1.2. Yes it's working. And from router number 2 also you can see it's working. Yes. Now on switch number 3 if someone will run command no VLAN 10 low. Uh, now this PC cannot ping yes or no? Suppose earlier this, this user was able to communicate with internet with you know remote branch but now someone have run no VLAN 10 command on switch number 3 by mistaken right? So this is problem with server mode guys. That's why we need what client mode. Here what we can do configure client client. So if I will make this switch as client mode, this switch also as client mode. So here engineer are not allowed to create VLAN. What I can do? I can configure switch 2 and switch 3 as client mode. Let me do that. Switch 3. Save VLAN 10 first. And now I am going to say. VTP 
mode client over here on switch number 2 also vtp mode client right now see user are able to ping again okay so see I'm able to ping and now on switch number three if you will run command no VLAN 10 what it's saying VTP VLAN configuration not allowed when device is in client mode so this is why we come up with client mode and guys last one is transparent mode so see what is the problem a still problem is here now I have configured this switch as client mode this switch has client mode this is my server mode yes suppose now I have changed something in diagram let me design another diagram here suppose again I have three switch switch one switch two and switch three here we have some user suppose this user is in VLAN 10 and this user is in VLAN 20 here suppose I have some server this is in VLAN 10 and this server is also in VLAN 10 okay and here I have some user okay in VLAN 10 in VLAN 20 and suppose guys this switch is connected with ISP through one router it is connected with ISP and my outside user are you know accessing this server every day right my outside my branch user are accessing this server every day so if this is my suppose centralized switch server mode switch this is my client mode switch so here engineer are not able to you know modify VLAN information right here if you want to create some VLAN you have to configure it over here if you want to modify VLAN on switch number 3 you have to modify it on switch number 1 because this is your server mode switch so on server mode switch if you will remove VLAN 10 so if you will remove VLAN 10 what will happen this user are not able to communicate with this user no problem but outside user are also not able to communicate are able to access your server because this is your network resources so whenever you have resources in your network so this is very important because outside users should be able to access this server every time so if sometime you will remove VLAN from the server mode outside user will be not able to access this server yes or no so here we have concept of transparent mode if you want to you know push one switch away from VTP domain you can configure transparent mode there or if you want to disable VTP on a switch you can configure that switch as transparent mode so if I will configure transparent mode switch over here on this switch manually we are allowed to configure VLAN delete VLAN right or modify VLAN but this switch is not going to update their VLAN database with the help of VTP update message okay so now this switch is configured as transparent mode if here you will remove VLAN 10 what will happen this switch will send one VTP update message this switch transparent switch will not update their database definitely it will relay that database to switch number 3 so transparent mode switch works as a relay agent only right on transparent mode switch you are allowed to create VLAN you are allowed to delete VLAN you are allowed to modify VLAN but transparent mode switch will not update their database with the help of VTP update message so this is why we come up with transparent mode so guys now it should be very clear with you when I need to on which switches I need to configure server mode on which switches I need to configure client mode and on which switches I need to configure transparent mode so suppose you have network admin in your network through this switches so definitely you will configure this switch as server mode because these are network super admin yes because these guys are not you know by mistakely run no VLAN 10 command or no VLAN 100 command okay here you have connected some resources 
so on the switches where you have keep resources on that switches you will configure transparent mode and suppose here i have a fraser network engineer connected with this switches right these are l1 engineer so these guys can run no vlan command right by mistake and so here you will put client mode so these guys are not allowed to delete vlan okay guys hope it is clear to you why we have three mode and one more difference are there between this mode so on server mode and client mode we can configure only normal range vlan only standard vlan extended vlan will be not supported by server mode and client mode and on transparent mode you can configure extended as well as extended vlan okay so see switch one number one is what my server mode switch this is my server mode switch here if i will create one extended vlan let's say vlan and 100 so see what is saying command rejected bad vlan list character 6 delimits a vlan number 1001 out of the range right not like that sorry extended vlan is vlan 1 double zero and let's say nine see what is saying extended vlan not allowed in current vtp mode so that means you cannot create extended vlan on server mode and client mode okay on client mode actually you are not allowed to create vlan so server mode and client mode supports only a standard range vlan only normal range vlan okay guys now next thing hope it is clear to you transparent mode so we have three modes in vtp server client and transparent you know the difference now guys the next topic is cr number configuration revision number configuration revision number so it is nothing but 32 bits decimal value you can say it is and 32 bits decimal value so you can calculate range yes or no after that here you can mention that by default cr number on all switches is zero by default it is zero on all switches okay after that you can mention it will be incremented by one guys till then till we are discussing theory again i am going to reload these devices okay again i am going to delete vlan dot that file from flash memory right so that i can show you the configuration from initial vlan dot that fine and say reload say no okay on switch number two also delete flash and vlan dot that and reload no delete flash vlan delete flash and vlan dot that done say reload okay until let's understand until it's rebooting let's understand cr number so cr number will be incre incremented by one and by default it is zero when it will be incremented by one whenever whenever what we say we can say it will be incremented by one 
whenever any vlan database whenever any change will occur in vlan database whenever any change will occur in vlan database so suppose you are creating a vlan right that means some changes occur in vlan database so cr number will be incremented by 1 okay or it will be incremented by 1 whenever change will occur and whenever version will change when you will change the version then also it will be incremented by 1 it will be incremented by 1 when ever version of vtp will change okay in two case cr number will be incremented by one if you will configure version one two version two or version two two version one if you will configure version three cr number will become zero right next thing cr number will become zero when we configured version three okay so now hope it's clear to you that what is cr number so cr number is on 32 bits decimal value and by default on all switches cr number is zero and whenever we will a uh, change will occur in vlan database cr number will be incremented by one whenever version will change cr number will incremented by one whenever you will configure vtp version 3 cr number will become zero and one more case are there that uh, it can be incremented by one when when vtp pruning is configured so if you know vtp pruning you can you know uh, relate this so when we will enable vtp pruning when vtp pruning will enable then also cr number will be incremented by, incremented by one okay guys so in three cases cr number will be incremented by one okay so hope it's clear to you now let me copy this diagram again Control C, Control B. Okay. Now, see, here, by default, CR number is what? Zero. Let me draw the different diagram. See, this is my switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 okay by default cr number is 0 over here cr number is 0 over here and cr number is 0 over here yes on all switches by default cr number is 0 and suppose here domain name i have configured domain name is cisco 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 on one switches you will configure domain name and it will propagated on all switches yes suppose this is trunk link this is also your trunk link so here on switch number one if you will configure domain name cisco it will be propagated on all switches so see what will happen actually once you will configure domain name over here it will send one update message to switch two update message inside the update message there will be information about suppose here i am creating what vlan 10 so here in the update message there will be information about domain name so my domain name is cisco after that cr number so my cr number is one because i have created one vlan so cr number will become what one and before creating any vlan see guys before creating any vlan what will happen when you will configure vtp domain name cisco it will send one summary advertisement in the summary advertisement there will be information about domain name is cisco and 
CR number. So CR number will be what? CR number will be zero because when you will create domain name, CR number will not increase. CR number will increase when when VLAN database will change occur, right? When change will occur in VLAN database, then only CR number will increment. So now it will send one what summary advertisement to switch to and in the summary advertisement switch will see the domain name and it will update their domain name also right and there will be md5 value as well right if you will run command let me show you enable and so vtp status you can see the md value md5 digest value and on all switches it will be same if you want to copy it you can copy it from here let me show you and let me paste it over here so see this is md5 digest value of switch 3 if you will check the md5 value of switch 2 so vtp status Is it same or different? It is different. Yes or no? But when we will configure domain name, right? See by default MD5 value first. Because all switches will use one algorithm to calculate MD5 value. So VTP status. See the CR number. CR number of switch 2 and switch 3 is sorry switch 1 and switch 2 is same because these switch, these two switches are same platform switch yes or no so that's why you can see the MD5 value of switch 2 and switch 1 is same but MD value of switch 3 is different yes or no so actually what is happening here when I am creating domain name Cisco so it will send one summary advertisement to switch to and inside the summary advertisement there will be domain name there will be CR number and there will be MD5 value so this switch will also calculate MD5 digest value if both value will same then only it will relay that summary advertisement to switch number three let me create one let me configure domain name over here guys so first of all I need to configure trunk so again I need to run interface range f1 slash 0 slash 19 and 23 f1 slash 0 slash 23 and say switch port mode dynamic desirable okay and so interface trunk okay now on switch number one if you will check so vtp status so vtp status guys what is CR number now CR number is 0 now I am going to create what domain name over here so actually interviewer is asking question that if I will create a VTP domain name will CR number will increment or not so see VTP domain name is Cisco okay so here also you can see the log message VTP domain name is changed from null to Cisco and so VTP status CR number is still what zero yes or no but md5 value is changed so it will use you know to calculate md5 digest value it will use vlan information it will use vtp domain name it will use vtp password so now after configuring domain name this is the cr this is md5 value of switch one here i am going to write switch one and this is md5 digest value now let me show you the md5 digest value of switch 2 see switch 2 will also use domain name and vlan information to calculate md5 digest value so vtp status domain name is here what guys cisco cr number is still what zero and md5 value is this one okay let me put it over here and on switch number three also see both value are different or same guys both value are different on switch one and switch two now yes or no 
because this is md5 digest value of switch 1 this is md5 value of switch 2 because switch 2 have calculate md5 digest value with cr number what with sorry domain name what with domain name null yes or no so this is the previous this is the previous md5 digest value and this is the newest so see both are same right because this one and this one see md5 digest value of switch 2 is still same because switch 2 have not calculated their md5 digest value because cr number is same there is no any change in vlan database it have changed their domain name with vtp update message so whenever switch will update their domain name with vtp message it is not going to recalculate md5 digest value so always keep in mind this is interview question okay and now if i will show you the vtp status on switch number three so vtp status here also you can see domain name is what domain name is what null because why this switch have not configured domain name uh, domain name cisco guys because see what is happening here switch one have sent one summary advertisement to switch two let me draw diagram again it is very important for interview switch one switch two switch three here i have configure what domain name cisco yes or no so it will generate one summary advertisement right in the summary advertisement there will be domain name cisco there will be cr number which will be zero and there will be md5 digest value right so md5 digest value will be what this one yes or no so when switch number two will receive it first of all definitely switch will update their domain name as cisco then it will check what md5 digest value so guys md5 digest value of switch 2 and switch 1 is different yes or no so it is going to drop this summary advertisement over here it is not going to relay this summary advertisement to router number 3 yes or no yes because md5 digest value is mismatch and here you will see one log message as well let me show you the log message I am on switch number two. There should be a, you know, uh, MD five mismatch error. It is not generating that one that message but this switch will generate one log message that md5 digest value mismatch so switch number two have different md5 digest value and switch one have different right so that's why switch two is not relay relaying that summary advertisement to switch number three but after 300 seconds it will send one summary advertisement because server mode and client mode switch will generate one summary advertisement after every 300 seconds so after 300 seconds after five minutes this switch will also going to configure their domain name at cisco if you will check it now i think it has more than five minutes so now on switch number three let me run so vtp status no still domain name is null over here but after 300 seconds it will configure their domain name as cisco so now on switch number two if you will run command so vtp counter let me check that this switch have transmitted any summary advertisement or not yes this switch have transmitted two summary advertisement one to switch one and one to switch three so switch three should update their domain name vtp domain name is still null over here let me check so vtp status guys because by default mode is 
transparent mode over here. So that's why this switch is not updating their database VTP database with VTP message. So what I am going to do, I am going to change the domain mode. So VTP mode is let's say server. Done. Now so VTP status. Still domain name is null. So after 300 second again switch 2 will send one summary advertisement to switch 3 and that time it will update their domain name. Yes. But as you know MD5 value of switch 1 and switch 2 is different. Switch 2 is not going to relay this summary advertisement message to switch number 3. But when I will create one VLAN over here. Suppose VLAN 10. So guys once I will create VLAN 10 what will happen? CR number will be incremented by 1. Right. Again it will calculate what MD5 digest value. With domain name Cisco and VLAN information is VLAN 10. Again switch will switch 2 will also calculate their MD5 digest value by using domain name Cisco and VLAN information. Right. So that time MD5 digest value becomes same on switch 2 and switch 1. Yes or no? So that time whenever switch will generate a summary advertisement it will relay that summary advertisement to switch number 3. So this is concept of MD5 digest value. MD5 digest value should be same, should be match. Then only switch will relay that update message to their neighbor switch otherwise that switch will drop it. Definitely switch 2 have updated the domain name, VTP domain name but it have not relay to switch number 3 and now on switch number 3 if you will check so VTP status I think here also you can see domain name is still domain name is null just wait for some more time so on switch number 2 let me check how many summary advertisement it have sent so once it will become 4 once it will become 4 switch 2 switch 3 will also update their domain name right so just wait for some time what I am seeing what is the concept of MD5 digest value in B in VTP MD5 digest value will be calculated with the help of domain name with the help of VLAN information right so and MD5 value must match on all switches okay guys now we are going to understand types of messages in VTP. So if MD5 is clear to you guys if anyone have still some doubt here you can let me know. You can let me know in comment definitely I will make one you know more video or I will try to solve your query through comment also. Okay. So MD5 value must match and MD5 value will be calculated by switch by using VLAN information and domain name and if you have configured password so that switch will use password as well to calculate MD5 digest value. Now let me check switch number 2. It has sent only still 2 summary advertisement just wait. After 300 second it is again going to send one summary advertisement to switch 1 and to switch 2. Then you will see switch 2, switch 3 will also update their database. So see now it's become what 4 and now on switch number 3 if you will check so VTP status you can see domain name is what Cisco and MD5 value is this one and MD5 value on switch number 2 is so VTP status different yes or no. So again switch 2 is not going to relay suppose switch 3 is connected with switch 4 so it is not going to relay that update message to their neighbor switch because still MD5 digest value is mismatch so what I am going to do now I am going to create one VLAN on switch number 1 so again switch will cal calculate their MD5 digest value it will send one update message with higher CR number so when switch will check the CR number in the update message is 1 and CR number on me is 0 that means I am not updated in VTP domain. It is going to update their VTP 
database vlan database and it is going to again recalculate the md5 digest value and that time md5 digest value will become same on both switches yes or no so let me do that here what i am going to do i am going to create one vlan now you can see cr number is zero fine okay so config t and vlan 10 okay so vtp status now you can see cr number is still zero how it's possible cr number is still zero over here i have created vlan 10 over here right that means vlan 10 was already there right so let me create one more vlan over here that is nothing but let's say vlan 11 okay and so vtp status now you can see cr number become what one and this is md value right so this switch have this is switch 3 on switch 3 actually i have created vlan 11 okay so this is md5 value of switch 3 it have used domain name cisco and vlan database to calculate this md value again i am going to paste it over here this is switch 3 md5 value let me show you the md5 value of switch 2 because here also switch 2 also have vlan 11 in the database yes or no see vlan 11 is there and so vtp status you can see cr number is what here cr number is one over here and this is md5 digest value let me copy it and let me paste it over here see guys is there any difference between these two md5 value no because both switch are using vlan information same vlan information and same domain name to calculate md5 value so that's why md5 value of switch 3 and switch 2 is same so and switch 1 also this is md5 value of switch 2 and let me show you the md5 value of switch 1 so definitely switch 1 will also have the same md5 value because this switch also have calculated md5 value by using domain name cisco and vlan information which is same on all switches so vtp status see here guys let me copy it see the all md5 digest value is same or not yes all is same so now on all switches md5 value is same so whatever configuration you are going to do right actually these switches will send one summary advertisement after every 300 seconds first of all let's discuss how many types of messages are there in vtp okay so types of messages messages in vtp okay number one is number one is vtp summary advertisement number two is subset advertisement number three is subset request and number four is join messages so join messages will be used in you know pruning only so generally these switches is not going to use this join message so used for this message is used for pruning so maybe in next video we will discuss pruning as well then you will understand join work of join message okay so now we are going to understand these three types of messages okay so guys first of all let's start from summary advertisement summary advertisement okay c 
सी सर्वर एंड क्लाइंट मोड स्विचेस विल जेनरेट दिस मैसेज विच टाइप ऑफ स्विचेस विल जेनरेट दिस मैसेज नो ट्रांसपेरेंट मोड सर्वर एंड क्लाइंट मोड स्विचेस ओनली जेनरेट दिस मैसेज राइट वट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस मैसेज गाइज वट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस मैसेज एंड हियर यू कैन मीन्स एन आफ्टर every 300 second as well after every 300 second so summary advertisement message can be generated in two scenario one is periodic after every 300 second and one is trigger when change will occur whenever change will occur in vtp domain or you can say in vlan database okay so in two scenario server mode and client mode switch will generate what summary advertisement message one is periodic after every 300 second and another one is trigger whenever change will occur okay so hope it's clear now what is the use of this message this message is used to check it is use to check cr number cr number guys switch will check the cr number with the help of summary advertisement message whenever switch will receive a summary advertisement message with higher cr number that means i am not updated in vtp domain yes or no by default cr number on all switches is zero and whenever switches will receive any summary advertisement with cr number 1 or any higher cr number switch will came to know that i am not updated in vtp domain so in the C in the summary advertisement there will be no any information about vlan okay so this message does not carry vlan information always keep in mind guys interviewer can ask you this question also that summary advertisement carry vlan information or not so no it will not carry vlan information so what will be the content inside summary advertisement so see guys first thing will be vtp version vtp version will be there inside the summary advertisement message second things will be vtp domain name domain name third thing will be you know cr number cr number fourth thing inside the summary advertisement will be vtp update id guys vtp update message is used to check that through which switch i have updated my database okay so soon we are going to understand this one also let me discuss vtp update first update what is vtp update message so see here so it is showing you that configuration last modify by 0.0.0.0 this is nothing but vtp update id okay so vtp update may, uh, update id can be elected by the ip address on virtual interface here what i am going to do i am going to create one svi c interface vlan 1 and say no set and here i am going to run one ip address suppose ip address is 1.1.1.1.255.255.255.255. Fine. I have oh, it's showing bad. Some sorry. 255.255.255.255. IP address 1.1.1. It's showing me bad. Submit mask on VLAN interface. Let me set it zero. Yes. Okay. Fine. So here I have configured what one IP address on. SBI interface. If there are more than one SBI, so lower IP address on SBI interface will become what updated ID. So VTP status. Now you can see local updated ID is what one dot one dot one dot one on interface VLAN one. So if here on switch number two, if you will run so VTP command, so you can see through which switch this. switch have update their database 
0 dot 0 dot 0 now what I am going to do now I am going to create one VLAN over here switch number one let me create VLAN uh, 20 over here S exit right and now on switch number two if you will run so VTP status command you can see it has updated their database through the switch which have this updater ID so this is update ID of switch one yes or no and on switch number three also I am going to create one SVI let me create one SVI interface VLAN let's say 150 and not 150 one interface VLAN one say no set and IP address is let's say here I am going to configure IP address 3.3.3 3.3.3.3 .3 .3 .3 .3 .3 .3 255.255.255.0 right now switch number one and switch number two have updated their database with switch one yes or no with 1.1.1.1 .1 .1 .1 .1. see on switch number two also okay and now on switch number three I am going to create one VLAN VLAN 160 so now all switches have updated their database through which switch through switch number three so on switch number two if you will check so VTP status here local updater ID is still 0, .0, 0, .0, 0 but what is saying configuration last modify by the switch whose updater ID is 3.3.3 that means it has modified their database with switch number three yes or no so this is the use of updater ID in VTP okay so updater ID will be also there inside the summary advertisement message fifth thing that will be there is time is time stamp okay see here time stamp is also there it is showing you that I have updated my database from 3.3.3 at which time okay so now here I am going to change the time let me say set clock clock and set here I think set clock clock set and uh, let me say it you know time of now is let's say five zero five hour and thirty minutes zero zero second and month is let's say April and year is day is let's say 1 April and uh, year is 2023 so here I have sent set a time yes or no now if I will create one VLAN over here let me create one VLAN VLAN let's say 50 exit exit and on switch number two if you will run command so VTP status over here you can see the last modification is by 1.1.1 .1 and at which time you can see this is the concept of time step in VTP okay on switch number three also you can verify same information will be there on switch number three also if you will run command so VTP status it is also showing you time step as well as last modification yes okay so there will be information about time stamp as well and last information will be total number of total number of subset advertisement subset subset this is second type of message sub set advertisement that means how many subset advertisement is coming how many subset advertisement is coming after this summary advertisement that information will be also there and one more information will be there that will be md5 digest value okay guys so these are the information inside summary advertisement okay so interviewer can ask you this question also that what will be the information inside summary advertisement but summary advertisement does not carry the VLAN information yes or no so 
the next type of message is value next type of message is subset advertisement so let's understand subset advertisement because subset advertisement will carry vlan information okay so next type of message is subset advertisement and this message is responsible to carry vlan information okay guys so here you can say this message contain actual actual vlan information vlan database okay after that you can say server server and client mode switches generates this message okay so server and client mode switch will generate this message right okay after that when this message will be generated by switch not periodically right only summary advertisement will be generated by switches periodically this is trigger message whenever whenever vlan database change or you can say whenever change will occur in vlan database whenever mm -hmm. vlan database will change it will generate what switches will generate some subset advertisement okay subset advertisement or you can mention over here th that also th this th it is not it is not generates periodically okay periodically it will be generate in the response of in the response of subset request message also right so in two scenario subset advertisement will be generated by server and client mode switch actual this is vlan vlan database okay so first first of all whenever change will occur in vlan database it will generate one summary advertisement and second time when some subset advertisement will generate is whenever switch will receive a subset a subset request this is third type of message that is subset request now let discuss subset request message first so next type of message is subset request okay guys so let me make you understand one example as well over here see suppose again i have switch 1 switch 2 and switch 3 all are Created like this one, two, three. Here, if I have created one VLAN, VLAN ten. Okay, domain name is again Cisco, and suppose CR number is what one. Over here also, over here also, over here also, CR number is one, CR number is one. On all switches, domain name is Cisco. Okay, so I am creating one VLAN over here. What this switch will do? This switch is a still generating one periodic summary advertisement, but this time change occur in the VLAN database so it will generate one trigger summary advertisement yes or no and it will generate one subset advertisement as well subset advertisement because ch change occur in the VLAN database and guys suppose due to congestion on this link this switch have not received this message these two message this switch have not received these two messages due to congestion on link between switch 1 and switch 2 now what will happen after 300 seconds this switch will send one summary advertisement yes or no 
so in that summary advertisement cr number will be what when you will create wheel and tan over over here on switch number 1 cr number will become 2 right and here also in the summary advertisement cr number was 2 but due to congestion switch 2 have not received this two message so after 300 seconds switch 1 will again send one summary advertisement their cr number will be what 2 but this time switch will not send what subset advertisement so when switch 2 will see the cr number in the summary advertisement is 2 and there will be information about upcoming subset advertisement that will be zero that means at subnet advertisement advertisement is not coming and cr number is two so switch will think that oh i am not updated in vtp domain and switch one is not sending any subset advertisement so this time switch two will send one subset request message yes or no request message subset request and then in the response of subset request message it will send summary subset sorry not summary subset advertisement ad advertisement message and there will be information about vlan 10 this is how these three messages will work hope it is clear to you guys if you want to learn these things in detail right in by spending two two three days you can enroll yourself in my live training because in one hour or in two hour it is not possible to make you understand everything so actually i am taking three classes on vtp right in ccna there are lots of things in vtp so that's why people are saying that i am not able to crack interview or my resume is not selecting people does not have the entire knowledge right they just know that vtp is used to propagate will and information by watching youtube video you cannot you know learn everything so this type of video is still not available on youtube just i am providing you this video at free of cost please watch this video till the end and try to learn something and if you are learning something please subscribe this channel as well and please hit on like button okay so now we have discussed the all types of message okay guys so by default behavior of vtp will be like this let me dis discuss that here i have three switch one two three suppose this is server this is you know client or this is suppose transparent so here cr number is now suppose 10 here also cr number is 10 and here also cr number is what here cr number will be zero always on transparent mode switch cr number will be always zero because transparent mode switch will not you know update their database in vtp here what i am going to do i am creating one vlan vlan let's say 100 so cr number will become what 11 over here it will send one summary advertisement inside the summary advertisement there will be information about domain name about the cr number right whatever things we have discussed okay that will be the information and parallelly it will send one subset advertisement as well subset advertisement inside the sub subset advertisement there will be information about vlan vlan database will be there right so here in the summary advertisement if this switch will see the higher cr number than than his own cr number it will update their database with subset advertisement but in the summary summary advertisement if cr number is same it is not going to check subset advertisement because i am updated yes and suppose whenever switch will receive any summary advertisement with higher cr number and it has not received any subset advertisement that time switch will send what subset request in the response of subset request switches will send what subset advertisement okay now let me discuss something practically over here okay so there are you know some command of vtp let me make you understand that command first is so vtp status so through this command you can check you know the different types of information that this switch can support capable to run version 1 to version 3 and version i am running over here is version 1 domain name is cisco vtp pruning here we are not going to discuss pruning okay maybe in some another video i will uh, discuss pruning as well okay vtp trap so 
still we are not discussing this if you want to learn these things guys you have to enroll yourself for live training only it is not possible to discuss everything in youtube video okay we are discuss update id as well after that mode is server after that the maximum vlan supported is 1005 only a standard vlan is supported on you know on server and client switch number of existing vlan is 10 and the cr number is now 4 and md5 value is same is this one and this will be the same on all switches yes or no except transparent mode switch now so vtp counter this command you can use to check how many messages this switch have received or it have sent okay after that so vtp and uh, password password so password is optional here you can see it's showing password is not configured okay after that you can run command devices as well over here so device information can be only retrieved in vtp version 3 okay so we, when we will understand vtp version 3 that time you will understand this thing next command that you can run over here is interface so you can see on how many interfaces we are running vtp the next command that here you can run is after interface status right and password and if you want to set password over here command will be vtp password let's say cisco 123 cisco 1 2 3 and guys you have to configure the password on all switches manually right so this is how you can configure password right now on switch number 1 what i am going to do i am going to create one vlan so vtp status now you can see not vtp status yes cr number is what guys 4 over here right on all switches cr number is 4 and so vtp counter so it have sent how many summary advertisement 9 and how many subset advertisement 5 okay now i am going to create one more vlan over here vlan let's say 15 exit okay this was the output before creating vlan 15 so let me paste this over here okay and after creating vlan so see when i have created one vlan over here when i have created one vlan over here where is that information guys i have to copy it again the previous entry okay so see earlier summary advertisement transmitted is 10 and now summary sorry this one is earlier entry is 9 and now it is 10 and subset advertisement was 5 and now it's 6 so once i will configure i will create one vlan on switch 1 switch 1 will send one summary and one subset advertisement yes or no not other any message and in the summary advertisement message there will be information about cr number through that switch will identify that i am updated or not if i am not updated it will update their database with the help of subset advertisement message okay so lots of question interviewer can ask you from vtp and i still interview is asking my lots of paid student were receiving this type of question in interview so that's why i had make this video so now guys if you have any doubt definitely we had no discuss everything because video length is still you know more than 1 hour 1 and 
वन आवर थर्टी फोर मिनट सो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस एनी थिंग एल्स ओवर हियर इन दिस वीडियो बट इफ यू हैव एनी डॉट यू कैन यू नो लेट मी नो डेफिनेटली आई विल ट्राई टू विद इन माई कैपेसिटी आई विल ट्राई टू क्लियर योर डॉट दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे इफ यू हैव लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो प्लीज इट ऑन लाइक बटन गाइज बाय बाय